It's the most wonderful time of the year. And to make it even better, the AppWire Holiday Sale starts now with great deals on select Samsung devices. The best devices, like the Note 20 Ultra, are up to $400 off all month long. While supplies last, we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Successful building projects, regardless if it's a personal development of one's character or a spot to display a historic war plane, all start with a plan and a solid foundation. The ground will probably be a little bit torn up and stuff from all the construction, but again, we're going to dress all that up. But we're just, hopefully, we'll have that on the ground by Veterans Day. A plan for a Lockheed T-33 subsonic American jet to be statically displayed at the Veterans Memorial Park which has been in the making for over six years, is now becoming a reality. Ken Stowing is bringing in the plane as soon as we give him the go-ahead that the foundation's laid, which is going to be done today. We're going to give him the go-ahead. He'll be on the road, and we're finally getting this on the ground. And I mean, whenever this memorial started, we were trying to do the static display at the start of this memorial. And this will close out after we get the ground dressed up and the static display on the ground. This will close out everything that we've done to that memorial. And for me, I mean, it's big. I mean, you put eight, you know, eight years, six, eight years into something. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of dedication to get that done. The U.S. Navy used the T-33 as a land-based trainer starting in 1949, and it has been used for such tasks as drone director and target towing. According to Sesco, these planes have since been phased out and replaced by different models. It's just, it's been disassembled as far as the motor's been taken out. It's actually a prop that come from the Air Force museum in Dayton, Ohio. Similar to how military men and women bond together to complete a common goal, Sesco says that multiple entities including the City of Pikeville, UMG, Ken's Towing, and their post members have worked diligently to complete this display in time for Veterans Day. I mean, it's not just me. It's, I mean, everybody at the post. I mean, Darren Hilton is another one. He's our paperwork guy. That guy has been on it. And I mean, no, I mean, he's a, always down there making sure that the ground's, keep, you know, taken up and stuff. And it's just, it, it's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff going on and a lot of wheels working as far as like Rotary Club's been involved, getting all the insurance from Farm Bureau. I mean, it's been, it's, it's been not a headache, but it's been, it's been, it's been a big undertaking. I'll put it that way. It's our responsibility to keep that memorial up. There's names on it of people that were in school whenever I was in school. I mean, that's something to look at. I mean, there's a, you know, Brent Coleman is on that. And I think he was killed in 0304. So, I mean, it it's, hits home for us. That memorial park is for every veteran, not just the ones in our post, not just the ones in the NDAV post. Everyone needs to be come down to that park and actually see what Pike was doing to all other veterans. Additionally, Sesco mentions that within the next few days, VFW Post 3769 will be making a huge announcement and that it looks like there is something big coming to the city of Pikeville for veterans and the community. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Jeremy Justice.